Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Southwood County Recreation Center for tonight's matchup between the Minnesota Blue Ox and your Wisconsin Rapid River Kings. We welcome to the broadcast booth tonight as a uh, color commentator, number one, Alex Smedley. Alex, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Uh, great to be here. Excited Absolutely. for the first start. <laughs> yeah, excited to have you up here. So, have a couple of puck drops here, it looks like. So, we'll run through the starting rosters here. So, uh, starting from Minnesota tonight, in goal will be number 37, Ethan Haglund. Number 23, Beller at defense. Number 11, Hobbs at defense. On the wing, number 12, Cruz. Uh, sorry, Clough. <laughs> sorry. Uh, number 16, Latusic for center. And on the wing is number 10, McAlpine. <laughs> Starting for the Wisconsin Rapids River Kings will be number 30, Riley Allen. On defense, number 24, uh, Yakus, along with number 10, Jordan Steer. Number 27, Nathan Bottles will be at the wing. Cole Krieger centers the line at number 12. And Hartke on the, on the other wing. Should be a great game tonight, so both teams bring a strong record into the, into the matchup. So... Looks like we have a couple more puck drops, so... Alex, tell us uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think is going to be the key to the win tonight? I think the key tonight is fast, hard, and physical. That's what we need to bring out, you know, from the first puck drop, going real hard, and uh, show us what we really do as River Kings. Yeah, good showing last night down in the Dells. Yeah, it was an exciting game. Uh, Fourteen nothing. Yeah, kept it close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so. Teams coming out, bringing so many uh, coaches out. I believe they won Player of the Month for the for the division. Yep. So great to see that for Krieger and Jordan Steer, both captains for the River Kings. So yeah, they are two hardworking guys. Uh, definitely deserve the award and uh, everything that's coming to them this season. Yeah, both of them played really well. I didn't get the chance to see the game last night down in the Dells, but uh, here on home ice last week, both of them were Mr. Medlin in those wins against Colorado. So yeah, they were definitely the key to the victory uh, on top of Riley Allen. That's in net right now. Uh, Riley Allen's had a great year, as you guys have you. So oh yeah, thank you. Yes, sir. So I wouldn't want to try and get one past you. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Getting ready for the officials to come out now. Linesman's calling for the puck. Head to the, to the face off circle now at center ice. Getting ready for the opening face off for the start of our game tonight. Cole Krieger successful in that gets it to Harkey who backhands it in on net. First save of the game for the visiting goaltender. So Hagman steers that aside now. Sent out, out of the zone now, out to center ice. Jordan Steer picks that up. Puck still in neutral ice now, because Lasky's trying to play that. Knocked off of there by Nathan Bottles. He'll take it down the sideboards there. Rubbed off on the play, but he's still in pursuit. Back behind the net now. Good battle there. Bottles comes out on top there as he's still working that back around. Puck come out now on the near side boards. Shot up. And that's almost a souvenir for us up here in the booth, so. Yeah, we know the fans love to see that. Everybody loves a puck. Oh, they do. So, River King skating from our left to right tonight, wearing the home white jerseys. Visiting Blue Ox team in the in the dark colored jerseys from our right to left. Face off is going to come, looks like down in the River King zone. River Kings pick up a penalty there. Luke Harkey's in the box. Two minute minor. Wisconsin Rapids Wisconsin Rapids penalty for number 17, Luke Harkey. Two minutes for roughing. Two minutes for roughing. Two minutes for roughing to Harkey. Puts Minnesota on the power play. Just under a minute played, or just above a minute played here. Into the River Kings end, held at the far point now. River Kings looks to move that up. That looks like Cerulius had backhanded that up and out of the zone. No icing here as the River Kings will still be on the, on the penalty kill here for another minute and 20 seconds. 
Jordan Steer takes his player out there along the board, shot in towards Riley Allen. He'll cover that up now. Good job defensively there, taking care of the uh, taking care of the goaltender. So how how big of a help is that? Oh, it's a huge help. Uh, Jordan Steer definitely on the ice, crucial guy on the PK. He comes out aggressively, steers the guy wide, and exactly what we need out there. Yep. Try to keep him to the outside and make life a little bit more difficult for the attacking team. So exactly. All right, Kyle Smith in to take the draw here now. And he's the winner. River Kings will then dump that down the length of the ice. Again, there's no icing on the, on the shorthanded situation, so Hagelin will backhand that to his defensive player. They'll look to skate that up and out of the zone here. Coming through neutral ice. Around the back, shot around the back of the boards now. Puck up high here, eye level again. That's the second time tonight for us already. So McDonald sends that in the boards. Runs a little time off the clock here. 45 seconds remaining in the penalty. Minnesota looking to move that up through neutral ice along the far boards there. They'll chip it into the corner. Back behind the net. There's Jordan Steer. He'll move that along now. Kenny sends it back behind the net. River Kings doing a good job here. Not letting Minnesota get set up. There's a shot off the side of the net. No, no concerns there for Riley as the River Kings dump that down the length of the ice once again with 20 seconds remaining in the penalty. Out to neutralize at the River King's blue line. They'll back it up, sending it out to the face-off circle. Radke can't get hold of the puck there. Man gets by him, but no harm there. Drifts in towards Riley Allen, and he'll just cover that up with one second remaining in the shorthanded situation for the River Kings. So, what's a little bit of the strategy there, Alex, when you cover that up? Uh, we just want to stop play. the whistle, um, get the guys off that are tired, you know, reset, maybe get a line that uh, they're changing for the guy when he gets out of the box. Um, just a smart thinking play by Riley. Shot wide of the net now. That won't count as a shot on goal. It's got to be inside the perimeter of the of the pipes to count. Comes up towards the near near point. Knocked down by Skaggs. And now Hartke tries to clear the zone, but can't. Held in by Keese. For Minnesota. Shot up into the netting. 17.06 remaining in the first period. Faceoff will come to Riley Allen's right. He's out at the top of the crease, ready for the faceoff. Shot high and wide into the far corner now. Faceoff circle. Skaggs tries to backhand that out of the zone. It's held in there by the Minnesota player. Little chip there. River King still can't clear the zone. Now they do. Here comes Howell. Sorry, Willard. Willard, big shot there. Deflected into the corner by the visiting goaltender. Backhanded in the blue line. River Kings keep the zone there. Nestepney in hot pursuit now as it comes out. In towards the net. Riley out. Good job there to cover everything up, though. No chance for a shot there by Minnesota. And River Kings will look to move that up along the far boards right in front of the hometown fans. Got a good crowd here tonight. Hope to see a goal here. Not so much on that one. Chipped up into the netting by the visiting goaltender, though. We'll get ready for the faceoff with 16-25 remaining. So it should be a uh, should be a good matchup tonight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they're coming out with two shots already and uh, trying to get one early. Puck leaves the zone after the River Kings win the draw. Radke will pick that up back at the behind his own net. Gets that to Max Moore. Down along the near boards. Now here comes Rydell. He had a big night last night. Takes it in towards the net. Off the side. Saved by the goaltender there. Minnesota will pick that up. They can't clear the zone, though. The River Kings are playing them tight. At the front center faceoff dot now. Minnesota will send that into the River Kings end. Radke there with it. Backhands it. Along the far boards where Rydell waits. He's got Smith in there helping him. Wheels that around the boards here. Picked up by Hobbs, number 11 for Minnesota. Puck's chopping around. Bouncing around quite a bit. That's got to be a bit of a distraction for the goaltender. Yeah, it's a little rough when the puck's bouncing. It's hard to get a read on it. And you never know where it might land. You're expecting the change up and you get the fastball. Yeah, yeah but you always hate those. <laughs> up into the netting now. We'll get ready for a faceoff here. 15-29 remaining. 
Face off will come to the left of Riley Allen. Riley Allen. I knew what I wanted to say. Yeah, we did too. <laughs> And we win the draw there. Nice job by Redmond. Up through center ice now. Gracer using that speed. He's got the wheels going. Along the far board, near boards here. Take, rubbed out in behind the net. Redmond in there. Holds that puck in the zone. At the near, at the far half boards. Back behind the net now. Into the corner. Boyle in there to try to pursue that, but Minnesota player can manage to chip that out. Jordan Steers got it again. Turns that over in the zone, though. Let's see if he can get a little help from his teammates, and he does. Redmond in there, taking his man out along the boards. Fence center, shot, score. That happened quick, came out there to the slot, and Jordan Brown buried that up over Riley Allen's shoulder. Not much he could do there. Yeah, it seems like it might be his first goal, too. There was a defensive shutdown uh, right across the crease. The guy was wide open, unfortunately. Okay. So the River Kings will play from behind this, the rest of this first period, or at least for now. Definitely for now. Ready for the face-off here. Picked up back behind the blue line now. Minnesota moves that up in a neutral ice. Sent across now. Hartke looking for a chance here. Gets a shot on goal. Easily saved and deflected into the corner, though. Back behind the net. So Minnesota goal from Brown gets the goal. Avery with the assist and Mercier with the assist. One nothing Minnesota. River Kings though turning up the heat here now, doing a good job putting some offensive pressure in there. Yeah, they were in there for a good minute. First line doing what they got to do. And works out for them as they they'll pick up the icing and the face off will come back down to the Minnesota end. Yeah, hopefully they'll capitalize on this icing. Their second line usually is our guys to do that. Yeah, we, we're a pretty well-rounded team. Yeah, but Marty loves rolling the four lines. That's the reason why we're so competitive on the ice, because yeah. we got fresh legs every time. Yeah, there's not a lot of drop-off between the first line and the fourth line either. So. No, not at all. Cerulean's tripped up there as he tries to send that in. Does manage to get it back behind the net, though, into the far corner. River Kings battle, good opportunity here. Oh, just st shut down by the defense there. River Kings will hold that in. No, nice job by Newcomer. He'll move that up to Willard. Willard's going to be tough to take off his skates. He's pretty strong. Yeah, he's a big body. Going to be hard to knock him off his feet. Radke calls for the puck, gets it. He'll send that back behind the net now. Puck squirts out along the far boards where Radke's in pursuit of it. Hand in the air, and that'll be icing. So... What, what's kind of the mindset right after you're, uh, and not that this happens to you often, but you know, when you get scored on, what's the mindset? Uh, just forget about it. You know, it, just think about it, nothing, 0-0 zero, zero game, and uh, going back and stopping the next puck, because that's all we can do. All right, Minnesota comes away with that. Through neutral ice now. I'm gonna move that in, number 18 for them, Blake Glazer. Glazer. Taken out on the play there by the River Kings. They'll move it up now. Pass out in front of uh, Howell. Too far for him to, to get. The River Kings control that puck in his own now. Send it back in on net. Shot into the, and deflected into the corner. River Kings will have to clear the zone there. They'll be offsides. More circles back behind there. Catches up and now he's legal to be in the zone. So he'll provide a little bit of pressure there. It's, Comes out the neutral ice now. Smith sends that off the glass and into the far end. River Kings will make a make a line change here. Got Max Moore on the ice with Nathan Bottles, number 15 Skaggs, Cole Krieger's out there, and number eight newcomers. Right. Call him the 
They shouldn't let those guys be eight and nine. Yeah, it's it's tough to see. <laughs> Shot, nice deflection there. Goaltender helping him, getting a, getting a little help from the defense there with the block. Yeah, we love seeing that from Skaggs, big shot blocker. He's a big guy. Yeah, he is. He's uh, always see him in the gym with me. Yeah? Yeah, I love seeing his bench press. How much can he bench? Nothing. <laughs> no, Perfect. no, no, he's a big body. So he and I are tied. I would think so. Yeah, I can bench press nothing too. So. <laughs> All right, face off to the left of Riley Allen here. Krieger out to take the draw against Minnesota. And he, once again, he wins that. He's been pretty good in the face-off circle so far tonight. Yeah, that's one of his strong suits on the first line, definitely getting possession of the puck, which is key to winning this game. Absolutely. Cerulius looks to move that around and can't quite clear the zone here. Minnesota will send that off the boards and back. Good battle by Hart G there to try and move that out of the zone. Racky with a big check there, so welcome to Wisconsin Rapids. Yeah, that had to hurt. <laughs> Puck goes down the length of the ice, on goal though, so the goaltender will have to chip that aside. River Kings will control that in there. Nathan Bottle's trying to get the shot away, and he does, and swallowed up by Haglin, and we'll get ready for the faceoff. So pretty evenly matched game. Yeah, it seems so. Um, I think we're a little more aggressive, getting a lot more shots on, but I think we need to up the quality a little. Right. Willard to take the draw. Got newcomer with him. Reese McDonald out there now, shot, covered up. Not taking any chances there, huh? No, you definitely have to dive for those. <laughs> I'm sure if they left and ran out there for us, you know. We oh, we'd love that, but he wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> we got an awesome goal light behind that net. Like to see it here soon. <laughs> yeah, we usually do about this time. About this time, yep. In front of the player's bench now, here's Avery trying to get by. Spinning ramming there to avoid that. Reese McDonald was going to give him a front row seat there. Just missed the check, though. Yeah, he was going to let us uh, welcome to the bench. Yeah, at least. <laughs> All right, backhand now. Nice little soccer kick there. Here's Reese once again. He's having a good shift. Backhands that towards the net. Jordan Steer to pick that up. Here's a chance for newcomer. Shot. Score. Yaku's with the goal. What a beautiful goal there. Yeah, that's what he's known for. He has that big, heavy shot, and not a lot of goalies want to get in front of that. No, nah, that was awesome. So River Kings tied up. Some discussion now with the officials are at the scorer's table now, talking things over. Visiting team's penalty box is open. Some things might have been said that uh, shouldn't have. <laughs> You know, I've never, after all these games I've watched, not one time has any team, every player ever come up to the official and said, you're right, I did that. Yeah, I don't think that'll ever happen. <laughs> but when it does, give me a call. <laughs> so the delayed penalty was being called before the goal. So Yaku's with the goal. We'll get you the rest of that call here in just a minute. Reese McDonald. He did have a good shift there. He deserved that. Yeah, he, he worked hard and didn't stop fighting for that puck. So. Number seven, Brown. I believe that's a Wisconsin boy from uh, Somerset. I believe you're right. Let's see if we can go back-to-back -back goals here on the power play now as the River Kings will control that. Riley Allen's got it. Sets that up for his defense here. And Jordan Steer, who went end-to-end -end, and last time we were here at home. Let's see if he can do it again. Instead, he feeds that off to Krager, who gets that to Bottles. Not a bad choice there. Pressure on the net now. 
River Kings just can't control that now as Minnesota dumps that out, but Skaggs is at the red line waiting for them. Feeds that to Willard. Nice stick handling there as Willard sends that over to McDonald. Out there again. Shot, oh, just missed the net. Held at the far boards now by, by Skaggs. Skaggs will skate that down. Feeds that across. Shot here, and the Stepney scores! Beautiful wrister there. It's like Skaggs has eyes on the back of his head. Nice goal there. I See, I told you we have a beautiful goal line. You know? We do. It's it's nice, luscious red. Right. Just like your uh, your ugly sweater. Not that. I, I thought it was pretty good, though. The goal was much better than the sweater. I'll give you that. Thank you. Yeah. So. And as predicted by Mr. Smedley, the River Kings were not down for long as they we take not. the 2-1 lead. Cerulius now backhands that. Along the near boards now. Smith checked by Mislowski. River Kings are offside. Stepney with the goal. Skaggs with the assist. And Willard with the assist. Radke with it now, sends that into the Minnesota zone. Land in a slot, but Minnesota will pick that up. Into the far corner now, in the River Kings end. Shot in, Riley makes the save. Puck bounces around out in the slot just a little bit, but he's able to, able to get rid of it. Shot wide, River Kings gonna need to watch the back door tonight. Yeah, that's definitely what Blue Ox is here to do. Find the back door, find the easy play. Don't let him sneak in. Into the far corner. Good battle going on here. Good positioning by both teams. Cerulius has it now. Gets that over to Radke. Radke sends that out. Feeds that over to Bottles at the red line. He'll skate it in the zone. Just couldn't get clear of the defense there. Minnesota will turn that back around now. Number 12, Clough with it. He'll try to get that out of the zone. Or get it on net. Can't. Harkey. Good play here, two on one opportunity, three on one opportunity for the River Kings, shoots, save. He was looking for that little pocket. Yeah, it may have been better feeding that back. Yeah, maybe so, but uh, he's the type of guy that goes for those shots because not many goalies are going to think they'd do that. Now, he had a little opening on a short side, but three on one like that. Yeah, you might want to feed it a couple times. Hard to say, but. In either case, River Kings take 2-1 lead. Willard's in to take the draw. And that's the third puck that comes up up towards the uh, second level tonight. So, might have to get some helmets up here ourselves. Yeah, I, I might need to grab my goalie mask. Might have an extra for you. Appreciate you. No problem. You don't need one? Santa, Santa's here. He doesn't need, he's like Gump Wormsley, you said. So. Oh, yeah, he probably has one of those elves working for him. <laughs> Jordan Steer makes the pass into the zone now. Willard moves that along. Reese McDonald in there, hard working as always. Long and near boards. Backhand now by Nestepney. Minnesota brings that out in neutralized. Now they cross the River Kings blue line. Shot, deflected. Looked like Ryan uh, Riley got a piece of that. Yeah, you got it in the blocker, sending it up to the, to the netting. Up in the netting. The uh, sweet level. Yes, yeah. yes. The humbled sweet. Yeah. Okay, face off to Riley's left. Minnesota wins the draw, but can't do much with it. Puck bouncing in towards the net just wide now. Picked up here by Skaggs. He'll send that out of the zone here as three River Kings converge on that. Willard coming away with it. No surprise there. He's big and strong and hard to get off the skates. Back behind the net. River Kings come away with that now. Here, Skaggs from the blue line. Shot deflected. Bounces around a little bit. Sent into the corner. Along the back behind the net. And along the boards. Up to the point. Shot back behind the net again. Picked up here by Minnesota, but they can't clear the zone. Skaggs has it. He's having a good game as well. Yeah, he has a great showing in the first 15 minutes of this game. Yeah, got the assist on the last goal. A nice hard work to get that puck down towards the net. Yeah, he's just a crucial player for us to win this hockey game. So 
Out of the zone now. Minnesota can't do much with it though. Smith will chip that back in. Sends that back behind the visiting goaltender. Battle along the near boards here. Picked up, scooped out of the zone by Minnesota. Newcomer will send that out. Stepney will send that out. I'll get him right one of these days. <laughs> Here's Rydell, shot. Oh, just missed there. Picked up here now by number 17 for Minnesota, Shermer. Written in the boards by Radke. Out to number five, Anderson, takes a shot. Riley was ready for that, but it was wide. Cerulius, I believe Cerulius is going to be invited to sit now. Picked up. Fans, the River Kings need your help. Last season we had the honor of having the Kings. Well, we'll see what he says. Dan come right here to the Southwood County Red See what he says. I think they're throwing him out. Looks like it is. Looks like they are. I heard him. Sounded like the referee said 20's gone. Yeah, I think when the guy turned last second, hit him in the back, I think that's an automatic ejection here. I don't think. Cerulius isn't the kind of guy that tries to. He's not a dirty player. I don't think he was trying to do anything out of sorts. I think, just like you said, he, he turned to the last second. And yeah, he's what we call a gentle giant. He's big, but he, uh, he's as soft as a teddy bear. He seems a little surprised to find out that he's been invited to, to leave, so. Yeah, I think he's as confused as anyone else is. Uh, yeah, it's. So we'll see what happens here. In either case, penalty will be five minutes for major for Cerulius. So huge penalty there. The uh, Blue Ox can score as many times as they, as possible during that five minutes, and the River Kings will not get another player back on the ice. So Cole Krieger here doesn't care about that though right now because he's going to the net. A great feet across there. Bottles just couldn't. Uh, he's tied up by the defenseman. Good read by Cole though, looking for the other options. Absolutely, especially when you're short-handed. Yeah, it, they get these opportunities because of how how hard they work. Fast they are. Back to the blue line, over to the far circle now. Chipped in towards the net. Swing and a miss there by the Minnesota player. Yeah, I'd call that a strike. <laughs> and not taking any chances there. River Kings will take that out and will send that out to neutral ice. Picked up by number 11, Hobbs for Minnesota. Along the far boards. Comes back now to number 27, Gonig. He'll backpedal a little bit and start to pick up some speed now. Smith looking to make the cutoff and does. And the River Kings will send that down the length of the ice. Be nice to see that one go in, but no. Worth that lucky. <laughs> Christmas is coming. Hopefully Santa provides. <laughs> we got the best Santa in the league. Oh, we do. Out to the blue line now. Shot wide. Saved by... Saved by the goaltender here. It can't be wide and saved. I meant to say saved. First period warm-ups. <laughs> Kenny comes away with it now for Minnesota. Sends it along the blue line. Shot. Riley makes a save. Flutters up in the air into the far corner. Back to the blue line now. Shot. High. Over the top of the net. River Kings will send that out of the zone here. Look at Reese McDonald on the move. Tries to get to that. If nothing else, he ties the Minnesota player up and creates a turnover now. As Skaggs will pick that up along the far side of the boards. Just bring that in now and try to run some time off of that penalty with two minutes and 31 seconds remaining in that. Yeah, it's a long one. Five minutes is definitely hard on our team. And so we're having an additional size and strength helps out. So yeah, River Kings will clear that out now. Good job so far. Not letting Minnesota get set up in the zone. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest part with a penalty kill. You want to make sure they never set up and always skating. Glove down there by Haglin. He'll get that to his defense. 
They'll look to set this up. Moving it out now. Right in front of the scorer's table here. Taken out there by Jordan Steer. Back behind the net in the far corner. Now they're trying to get set up a little bit, but River Kings deny that. Nathan Bottles sends that up and out of the zone here. Here's a chance for Cole Krieger. Nathan and Bottles is helping him out. Shot, big save there by the goaltender, deflecting in the corner. No chance at the rebound there. River Kings are back on defense now as here comes Minnesota trying to get something going. And they can't quite get it, make anything connect there. Jordan Steer looking for some help. Decides just to take it down there and run some time off the clock with 120 remaining in the penalty. Minnesota just dumps that into the River Kings end. They're looking to change to change up some tired players out there for them. Yeah, unsuccessful players are tired players. <laughs> At the far face off circle now, good save there by Riley Allen. Puck comes out, Smith backhands that up and out. Down the length of the ice with under a minute remaining in the penalty. Hagelin watches that. As the defense picks it up, starts to skate that out to neutral ice. Shot, Riley Allen just swallows that up in the pads there. Good job with the positioning. Yeah, he was perfectly lined up, just swallowed it really easily. Yeah, nice job anticipating what, what the player was going to do there. So, Yeah, luckily his defense was driving him wide and trying to make it easier on the goalie. Minnesota wins the draw. Gets that near to Kenny at the near side here. He shoots it wide of the net. Backhanded out of the zone now with 30 seconds remaining in the penalty. Minnesota takes that, dumps that in. River King's doing a good job controlling that blue line, not giving them an easy entry into the zone. And they'll send it down the length of the ice here. And Hagelin has to make a save on that one too as that puck was bouncing in on him. Yeah, hopefully we get a Christmas gift and that goes in eventually. That'd be nice. Here's Cole Krieger. Good job, Forchek in there. Killed off the rest of the penalty in the uh, Minnesota zone there by just not letting them get out. So, and good job by the River Kings there, killing that major penalty. Both teams are back to full strength now. Under a minute remaining in the period. Puck backhanded out into the Minnesota zone. Shot now into the near corner. 30 seconds remaining in the penalty. Hartke sends that back in. There's a little bounce right off the Minnesota crest. Back behind the net now, feeds it out front. River Kings can't get a clean shot there. Good job defensively by Minnesota, clogging that zone up. Jordan Steer will send that in. Wow, we got a little bounce there. I kind of handcuffed the goalie. He did not expect that oh. coming. A little chip there. They're definitely putting some, uh, it's not just pressure, it's it's odd angles. Yeah, they're changing it up for him every time, you know, not making his life easy at all. Well, that's our job, and we did it well in that first period as the River Kings come back from an early goal to take a 2-1 lead. They had 16 shots on goal compared to the visiting squad's nine. And we'll be back in just a few minutes with the start of the second period. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for the start of the second period between the Wisconsin Rapid River Kings and the Minnesota Blue Ox. River Kings hold a 2-1 to one edge as we get ready to start this second period. So, Alex, what were your thoughts on that first period? I thought we came fast, hard, and physical like I thought we were, what we had to do. And um, they're definitely going to take it to them this period just like they did the last one. I think their key players, uh, Jordan Steer, Nathan Bottles, and uh, Cole Krieger, came out guns blazing, ready to go. Same thing with Reese McDonald. I would agree with you. So, Skaggs had a good period as well? Yeah, yeah, the magician himself. And then uh, Riley Allen, you know, strong in net. So, stop eight of nine. Yeah, that's a lot better than the other boy. <laughs> so we'll start this second period. River Kings will be skating from our right to left in the home white jerseys. Visiting Blue Ox, left to right in the dark uniforms. And so, give us a little insight as to what we're what you talk about in between periods there. Oh, coach comes in with a beautiful speech, uh, hypes us up for the game, tells us what we need to work on, and uh, tells us uh, basically what to approach and uh, have a good mindset, ready to win. Yeah, one of the things I admire about the coaching staff here is that uh, 
you know, they, they look at not just developing you guys as players, but also, you know, as people that will be growing up, moving on, and, and uh, become respectable members of, of our communities. So that's uh, a lot to be said there. Yeah, they, they do great work with trying to help us uh, not only give back to the community, but uh, to our family too, because, you know, it's an opportunity and a blessing to play here. Krieger trying to share some blessing there with the back of the net, but unsuccessful here. Jordan Steers got it. Loads up on the shot, holds it, sends it in now. Bottles with that in the far corner. Minnesota will collect that puck now, skate it out. Move it down the far boards. Looking to center it here. Shot well up into the netting. Been a lot of pucks up in the air tonight. Yeah, they're definitely trying to go high on Al, and I guess they did some video and thinking that's working for them. So we'll get ready for the face-off here. To Riley Allen's right. Willard out to take the draw. Wins that, but Minnesota manages to come away with it now. Back behind the net. Riley down on the butterfly, got his eyes on him. And the River Kings will clear the zone there. Puck will come the length of the ice for icing. We'll get ready for another faceoff. So, what do you feel is the advantage? So, when I was uh, when I was young and playing goal, this, uh, we wore leather pads. So that tells you how long ago that was. But everybody did the stand up. And now everybody does the butterfly. What's the advantage of the butterfly style? Do you feel? Uh, I think it's more mobile uh, mobility. You know, you have more movement down on your knees with the technology with gear now. You can track pucks better, move over faster, and I think uh, all the goalies can agree. Uh, it's definitely cutting edge uh, what they do, and definitely with the goalie coaching that we've been working with. Great, that's a great point. Yeah, the the, uh, the equipment is definitely advanced from my time. So. <laughs> yeah, the leather pads don't really help now and then. Cole Krieger wins the draw, tries to skate it out of the zone. He's held up there by the Minnesota defenseman. They'll pick that puck up, shoot it in the, into the near corner here. Minnesota holds the zone. River Kings try to move that up the boards. Nathan Bottles with it now. Turn over here, Starkey got it, shot. Riley makes a save there. Deflect that into the corner. Far corner now. Skaggs is all over him though, not letting a Minnesota player get a get away with that puck at the far half boards now. Good physical battle now. Nobody really giving in. Yeah, they're they're definitely all trying to fight for that puck. One on one battles is gonna be key for this game. Yeah, good clean physical hockey. River Kings come away with a chance here. Bottles is in, gets a chance here, backhand, scores! Nice backhander there. Yeah, that was a, that was a brave move and they executed it perfectly. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful goal there. Two on one opportunity and River Kings bury it, take a 3-1 lead and that goal is huge. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I think I taught him that in practice. Yeah? Way to coach him up. Yeah, but again, Harkey with the great look, saucer pass right over the stick to give him that puck and the opportunity to get that goal. Yeah, Harkey's been a great addition to the club this year. Yeah, he, he definitely brings a presence into the locker room and on the ice. So three to one lead now for the River Kings. They'll win the draw here. Back to Jordan Steer. And you know Jordan's just itching to add to that lead. Oh yeah, you know he's gonna try to get an assist or a goal coming into the second period. Yeah, I'd love to see him be able to get a blast away from the blue line, he's got a great shot. Yeah, it's definitely difficult to read uh, for any goalie in this league. And there's that shot now. Not much room to work with, but he got a good shot on goal. So, so Nathan Bottles with the goal. He was assisted by number 17, Link Hartgee. Hartgee with the assist. And by number 15, Trenton And Skaggs, I believe that's his second assist of the night. I believe so. He's been working hard this game. And that's really, when you come out that early in a period, that really sets the tone for you. Yeah, it's hard to come back when uh, the other team's working so hard, first and second period. And hopefully we'll continue this to the third later on in the game. Well, that's one thing you can say about the River Kings team. You never see them take shifts off. No, we're probably one of the most hardest working teams out here. Radke sends that along the boards. Back behind the net now. Nice drop pass there. 
Out to center, can't get a, can't get anything away. Jordan Steer, nice spin move there. Oh, he put that guy in a spin cycle. Yeah, he did. Nice move to the boards here. Gets it back a newcomer. Blast, knocked down in front of the net, deflected. Harlan just got a piece of that. Minnesota tries to break out here and get it in the River King zone. They just barely get it past there before they're met by the defense. And Racky looking to move that up and out now. Sends that along the far boards. 16-40 remaining in the second. Minnesota looking for the breakout pass, it looks like. Not really setting anything up. Back behind the Minnesota net now. River King's good on the four check there is Cole Krieger. Yakus can't hold the zone here. The puck will come down the length of the ice. Skaggs beats his man back, but no icing on that play. Hart G's got it along the far boards now. He's having a good night. River Kings control that at center ice. Here comes Yakus looking to get another shot away. He had a great goal in there. And a beautiful shot there. Oh, wow. That was, that was a shot you'd love to see. Wow. Up over the shoulder, across the top, inside of the net. Just stuck that to the roof. What a great shot. I'm going to be honest, I don't think that goalie saw anything. That came off so quick and so hard, and he, yeah. he's dazed back there. Great feed. That was a great job there. And that two goals in less than four minutes. That's the way to start out a period. Yeah, that's, that's the way to start a hockey game. Smith loses the draw now. Brought into the River King zone by Mislowski. River Kings turn that back around. Here's Rydell. Yakus with the goal. He was assisted by number 27, Nathan. Nathan Bottles with the assist. Nice shot there by Moore. Covered up by the goaltender. Four to one, River Kings lead. So you're up by three goals as a goaltender. What's what are you concerned about? The biggest thing is staying loose. Uh, our team's really aggressive down here, so you might not be getting as many shots as usual. So you definitely want to keep loose, keep moving, keep your head in the game, nice and focused. Never lose a minute of concentration during this whole game. All right. Looks like Riley will see the puck a little bit here, if not touch it, but McAlpine in for Minnesota now. River Kings clog up that board, though. Don't let him by. Nice, nice job by Newcomer there. Backhand attempt into the slot. Unsuccessful. River Kings control that. Try to clear the zone there. Hobbs is taken out. Strong check there by Maurice McDonald. And Reese is rewarded for his efforts by getting the puck. He'll feed that to the newcomer who cut across the neutral ice. Look to make a move here. Sends it wide. Shot. Rebound out front. Still down. Here comes Radke now. Back behind the net. Good check there by Willard. Up there near point. Harkey, good job taking care of that puck. Keeping it in the zone there. Minnesota was looking to break out of there. Back to the far point, shot by Radke, blocked by the defense. Picked up here by Skaggs. And that'll come out of the zone. Newcomer with it now. Minnesota takes that, circles it back behind their net. Getting ready to move it into the River Kings end, into the near corner. Picked up by Yakus. Out to the blue line. Big collision there. Everybody's up and okay as Cole Krieger in on a check. River Kings have it down in the zone. He gets a chance here. Shot saved by the goaltender. Kicked off to his right. Looks like he was tied up by the, the coming four checker. Fortunately, couldn't get off a good release there. Yakus has it now along the blue line. Gets that to Radke. Nice save by the goaltender there. Rebound drops right in front of him. No River King there to pick that up. Yakus has it again. And you got to think, if you're Hagelin, you don't want to see him having a puck very much. No, definitely if he's coming down and uh, you got guys in front, it's definitely a scary sight. Definitely put it right past Hagelin if he really has the chance. 
Yeah, with two goals already tonight, so you know he's looking to get the hat trick. Oh yeah, you know he's gunning for it. Uh, actually, Zane Rydell last night got a hat trick for the first His time. His first one. Yeah, it was exciting to see. The boys were definitely pumped <laughs> for the amount of effort he put out there. He's played well all year. Yeah, him on the third line with uh, Max Moore and uh, Kyle Smith. They're, they're the crucial third line we need. Yeah, Kyle Smith's been a very consistent player here his whole time in Wisconsin Rapids, so glad to see him getting rewarded this year with some more ice time. Yeah, you can tell with Marty he's rolling these lines so because he knows how confident they are with uh, what they know they need to do. Physical play starting to pick up a little bit now along the far bo half boards there. Smith has that. Can't clear the zone, though. Minnesota looking to pick the puck up, and they can't. No one wants control. And here we go. Here's Rydell now. Maybe he'll come out and get that first start of his second hat trick. Turns back around. Nice move there to try and get that to Smith. He's taken out by the defense. Still battling, though. Dumped on the play. Referee's got his arm in the air. We're going to have a power play for the River Kings. Miss Stepney here. Riley Allen to the bench. Six man back on the ice. That'll be Cole Krieger. Looks like Smith took a slash there. Yeah, I think that's why the ref's arm's up. Glad he got to see that because sometimes it's hard to see with only one linesman. River Kings are going to power play here. Looks like number 15 for Minnesota, Logan Starkey. Yeah, he's a 6'2 heavy hitter, and uh, he definitely loves taking those cheap shots, and luckily our ref got to see it. So let's see if we can take advantage of this opportunity here with 12.32 remaining in the second period. River Kings have already had a strong showing so far. But it would be great to pick up another one here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be good to try to seal the deal early in this game. Let's see if Yakus can get a shot away. Gets it to Jordan Steer. Steer at the blue line. Controls that. Gets that over to Krieger. Back to Jordan Steer. Fakes the shot. Gets it over to Yakus. Yakus stick handles. Back to Jordan. Good job getting set up for this. And I'd like to get a shot away here. Cole Krieger's got it. He sends that to Jordan Steer. Block. Krieger in with the rebound. No, just kicks it a little bit wide. River Kings will have to reset. Nice job in there with Harkey battling for the puck. He's got it the near half boards now. Down into the corner. Puck comes back up now to Jordan Steer at the blue line. Over to Krieger. Fires that one-timer. Kick save out to, the out to the right corner. Krieger right in there to pick that up, though. Harkey got it now. Big chance for Yakus there. Just missed on that one. Pretty sure the board stented there just how powerful his shot is. Yeah, you probably have to face that in practice. I'm glad I don't. Shot there, save. Minnesota goaltender will cover that up for the faceoff. I'm sure he's ready for a break. Yeah, I think uh, he's telling his guys he needs a bit less time uh, in our zone, but fortunately for us, the power play is still running and he's gonna get some more heavy shots coming his way. Yeah, I think they had possession for close to the entire minute of that first of that first minute of the penalty. I believe so. And I think it's gonna be even longer with uh, the second line Skaggs and the Stepney out there. Skaggs has it now, feeds that across on the Stepney, shot. Blocked by the defense, sent back down the length of the ice. Riley Allen will set that up. Skaggs back for it. They'll regroup here, and Willard's already got the speed going along that far board. He goes, splits the defenseman there. Past the blue line, he's got it. Chance here for a shot. Feeds it in towards the net. Soft shot on goal, kicked out by the goaltender. Rebound comes out, and Stepney tries to send that in. That's blocked, picked up by Minnesota. And we're gonna get another call here. Now, Sander might be a big guy, but sure is he fast. He goes right down there and draws a penalty really easily. Well, speaking of uh, penalties, so number 16 now for Minnesota. Kolalisic is in the box now for two minutes for tripping. River Kings have a five on three advantage for the next 20 seconds. Hopefully it'll be a goal opportunity here. Well, the thing to remember when you have a two man advantage is don't get too fancy. Don't spend so much time setting it up that you forget to shoot. Yeah, keep it nice and simple. And I think the biggest thing is get pucks to the net. Get traffic in front, make the goaltender's life difficult. Sorry. 
There's that shot. Good traffic in front. Knocked down. Not able to get a clean shot at the rebound here. Good feed through there. Jordan Tier with the shot. Couldn't get a pick up a deflection there. So yeah, just a tad wide. River Kings Yakus has that now. Back behind the Minnesota net. Sends that back to Hartke. Here's Jordan Steer here with it again. Holds that blue line. Good job there. Defense really pressuring him. Still in the zone. And chipped up out. One minute remaining in the second penalty to Minnesota. Just under 10 minutes remaining in the second period. 27 shots on goal so far for the River Kings. Yaku's looking to make it 28 here, but he's rubbed out along the boards by the defense. And McDonald will look to feed that across now. Gets it back to Yaku's. Holds the shot. Decides to pass it to Willard instead. Willard sends that over to Skaggs. That puck will butterfly up into the netting and we'll get set for another faceoff. 33 seconds remaining in the, in the penalty. Well, you missed a, a fun time here a couple weeks ago when the River Kings get 60 shots, Matt buys pizza. Oh, yeah, we, I don't think I heard that. that that's going to be exciting if we hit that mark. <laughs> he might be off the hook for the year, you know? Maybe. <laughs> All right. Holding the blue line now. Skaggs has that. Gets that to Willard. Good feed across the back there. Back, looking to close that back door there as the River King just couldn't convert on it. Yeah, that was a beautiful save. Yeah, good job there. Skaggs will pick that up behind the net. Time to get set up for one more quick rush here on this penalty. And the penalty's over now. Both teams are back to full strength. Rydell's in there. Coming off that impressive night last night. Kyle Smith scores. What a nice flash from the slot there. Yeah, you know he was itching for that. He's a point getter, and he got it. Especially after getting hurt on that uh, that play not too long ago. He yeah, there's probably some pent-up frustration there, and it looks like it's a goalie change, too. And they gave him the hook. Coming in now for Minnesota is going to be number one, Vinny Castelletti. Ethan uh, Hagelin will sit down now and... Gets to be a hockey fan the rest of the night. Yeah, Castelletti and Ned, he was player of the month twice in a row for our division, so he's definitely a threat to be reckoned with. Well, the Smith with the goal. Zane Rydell with the assist. Reese McDonald on the assist as the River Kings go up 5-1. to one. If you're Rydell, you don't want this weekend to end. As he's got the puck now, headed towards the net. Shot, save. He'll go bowling for Castelletti there as he knocks the goaltender down. The puck comes out to the blue line here to neutralize. River Kings are shorthanded here, but Jordan steers back on a three-on-one shot. Saved by Riley Allen. Great positioning there. Good job by the River Kings swooping down on that slot, making sure there's no other opportunities on that rebound as they get it out to neutralize. Shot towards the River Kings end, but can't be controlled. Here comes Nathan Bottles. And River Kings are offsides there. Yeah, it's definitely awesome to see Riley still stepping it up with only getting one shot this period. Yeah, but he's working hard. So the uh, so when you when you're coming in, right, you, the starting goaltender has been pulled and they they put you in. What's your mindset then? Uh, stop pucks and try to make a significant difference. You know, we're down by four goals. I'm going to try to stop as many to give our team an opportunity to come back. So just limit the damage at this point. Yeah, try to not let the, the wound corrode even more. Feed here for Minnesota, shot wide. Tried to feed it alongside, shot. Save there by Riley. Into the corner now. Picked up by Minnesota. Wide open in the middle of the slot there. Shot it wide though, River Kings. Need to be a little more responsible defensively there. Kind of gave up an easy opportunity, but no harm there. So, can't be guilty of chasing the puck in your own zone. Yeah, you can never just stop and maybe turn off the brakes here. Keep the legs moving. Yeah. 
Oh, here's an opportunity here. Fed across. Oh, pass just a little bit behind him. Krieger just couldn't get a good wood on that shot. He does now, though. Shot saved. Tipped up off the boards now where Jordan Steers got it neutral ice. Gets it to Skaggs. They'll play catch with it back in their own zen. And then Jordan will send that down in the Minnesota Blue Ox end where River Kings will pursue that and get it. Shot, save. Kicked out to the right, to the left. Jordan's got it now. Sends it through the crease. Nobody there. Try again. Shot towards the net. A little bit wide. And Stepney in there, pressuring the defense. Good job there as the River Kings hold it in with six minutes and five seconds remaining in the second period. River Kings in command here now, but not looking to give that up any easily. Good job on the skates there to move that in by Jordan. No icing here. Yeah, the team was a little confused there why there wasn't an icing, but that's not going to stop them from coming into this game. Kind of a weird chance there for uh, Castelletti to control that one. I'm not sure why he didn't just let that one go, but... Seems like the type of goal to just keep play going. Doesn't want to freeze it for her team. Right now, chips that into the Minnesota end. Blue Ox will move that out to neutral ice. Down into the Blue Ox end now. Looks like uh, Redman. Redman, not the uh, not the biggest guy on the team, but plays with a lot of heart. Yeah, that's why he's got his own fan section here. He does. They didn't make the sign tonight, though. No, it's it's there. I've seen it a couple it? times. Yep. Just, justice for Jeff. Justice for Jeff. <laughs> well, I believe he was, you know, invited to leave a game early, earlier in the season. It was just... Completely yeah, completely out of line. Yeah, yeah definitely. He, and I think he's done it a couple times this season, but <laughs> we'll let it slide. All right, Riley, steer that aside here. River Kings need to get control of it. Krieger does. Puck bouncing around an awful lot. Yeah, they can weigh heavily when it starts going to the end of the period. The ice gets rough, and you got to keep it simple and not try to make fancy plays. A lot of mucking it along the boards here. Yakus picks that up, sends that back for Radke back behind the net. Krieger now trying to get in. Moose doing a good job putting the pressure on here, but unable to get anything towards the net. Shot wide. Now we'll get that icing as he shot that from almost his own blue line. Yeah, it seems like he just wanted to try to get a line change, but he forgot icings. So you can't do that. I'm sure the coach will remind him of that when he finally gets back to the bench. Yeah, I'm sure he'll give him a lesson or two. <laughs> All right, face off to the left of Castelletti in the far corner here. Willard in on the forecheck. Skaggs now having to pick up the pace here as he's beaten back to the plate. Fed across. Oh, wow, great save by Riley Allen there. He deflects it into the back of the net, towards the back of the net now. And River Kings will move that up. Good chance there for Minnesota. Skaggs absorbs a huge open ice hit there, but he's up and fine. Yeah, he can take those all night. He's not a guy to get uh, broken down in the middle of the ice really easily. Yeah. Good job here controlling that now. He takes another check from the same guy. Somebody's trying to get himself off the Christmas card list. Coming for a high stick now, so... Not the penalty, just it was knocked down with a high stick. So you're not allowed to do that. So they'll bring it back down to the River Kings end. We're definitely going to see Blowhawks try to get a chance here. The very few face-offs they get in our end. Yeah, this has got to be getting to be a long night for them. Yeah, they're definitely tired and exhausted. And now you play three seconds and you start it all over again. Yeah, Skaggs sometimes makes an oops here and there, but we still love him for it. The upside is definitely way more than the downside. Yes, 100%. So. I'll agree with you with that. 
Jordan Steer hustling now. Picks that up along the far half boards. Reese McDonald knocked away from being able to make a play there, but no call for interference. Here's Willard heading towards the net with the puck now. He absorbs a big check there, but he's back up again. Yeah, that looked a little high for a my sake. A little high, yeah. But he's 6'4 or so? 6'3, uh, I believe. Yeah, so, you know, it's a long way up there. Yeah, especially with uh, number 5, 6'5 uh, from Sweden. He'll definitely get up there real easily. McClare for Minnesota now, pursuing that in the River Kings end, back behind the net. Jordan Steer letting him know that you're not allowed to play in our sandbox and you're leaving. And so Willard back there to collect that puck for the River Kings. Minnesota trying to feed that through. Shot wide. Out near the far point now. Stuck in the skates. River Kings are able to get that out though and get it out of the zone here. Redmond making a move towards the net. Puck comes off his stick though and out the neutral ice. 2.15 remaining in the period. Smith will take a hooking call, it looks like here. I believe it was Zane that took was the Was it hooking. Zane? Right L. Yeah, he was trying to lift his stick and uh, maybe looked a little bit aggressive for the refs liking and uh, got the call. So Rydell in the penalty box for two minutes for, ho for hooking. 2.12 remaining in the period. So if you're the Blue Ox and you're trying to get back in the game, this is your chance. Yeah, this is probably one of the few chances they'll get in this game and they're gonna have to capitalize real quick because we know the River Kings will come back guns blazing. Yeah, even if you get one here, you're still down three with a whole, whole period to go and there it is. So a shorthanded goal, or a power play goal here for the Minnesota Blue Ox. Makes it 5-2. Yeah, they just were quick to set up and defense looked a little lost, not a lot of communication, and uh, they snuck it by us. Well, if this holds up the way it has, it's held up most of the rest of the season, I would expect that the next minute 45 or whatever we have left in the two minutes in the penalty, or two minutes in a period, is gonna be a long two minutes for Minnesota. Yeah, and we also have to remember there's another 20 minutes coming, and I know after this period, River Kings aren't gonna stop. No, they've had some very strong, uh, some very strong third periods. Yeah, I think that's where we actually come out alive the most is the third period. Yeah. So Shermer with the power play goal for Minnesota, makes it five to two. And I would agree with you that this is this is a tough team to play against on their home ice. Yeah, we are the the fans here are electric and they get us riled up and going. I remember my first start here at the barn and uh, I was just more excited and electric uh, because of the electricity here just gets you motivated, especially during the third period. Very supportive community. Oh, good opportunity here. Oh, just missed on that one. Harky had a chance. And Put a little bit wide, so Puck may have been a little bit behind him when he tried to shoot that. But yeah, especially with this second period ice at the end of its length, it's hard to get hold of the puck directly. Allen deflects that up, stays in play though. Out by the River Kings blue line here, a minute and 10 seconds remaining. Minnesota controls it in neutral ice now. They'll turn that over. The Stepney's got it. Sends that back now. Castellet will try to control that back behind his net. Can't. That's picked up by number 27, Garner. Down to the River Kings end. Minnesota tries to center that, and they'll turn that over to Jordan Steer. That's good for our team as Jordan will clear the zone now. Here comes Willard. He's got a little time, and he's got Jordan Steer trying to help him out. Can't get the pass through, though, but he keeps the puck. Jordan's tied up. I'm not sure why they are... Allowing that to happen, so. Yeah, it seems a little hesitant here. Should have been a little a little interference call there, I thought, but. In either case, River Kings will control that puck now in their own end. Riley Allen's had a good period. Yeah, nice easy glove save there. Knew what number five was doing from when he got on the ice and when he got off the ice. 30, just over 30 seconds to go.
Minnesota with a chance there. Shot off the side of the net. They'll center it out front. Great save there by Riley Allen. He was in position. Yeah, he knew what was happening, and he's ready at all times. That's where that butterfly pays off for you. Yeah. River Kings will scoop it up out of the zone now. Let's see if Newcomer can get to it now. Ten, just about 10 seconds remaining in the period. Back behind the net. Looking for some help. Comes away with it now. Five seconds remaining. Got to get a shot away here. Yaku's looking for that third part of the, the hat trick shot. And covered up by the defense there. And we will head to the third period with the River Kings up 5-2. to two. So what did you think about that period, Alex? I thought it was really good. Maybe slacked off a little at the end, but nothing we can't handle. I'm sure they're going to go in, communicate, see what they need to do for this third period. Yeah, they came out really strong, and then uh, kind of the penalty, I think, took a little bit of the wind out of the sails. But, you know, they're, they've got uh, some time to get back in the locker room and regroup and get back and ready to go for the third period where I expect that they're going to come out fired up. So Yeah, nothing they can't handle. Absolutely. So we'll see you all in just a few minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for the start of the third period here. Hometown team's all excited now as the River Kings hold a 5-2 to two lead. They're getting ready to jump around in the stands here. We enjoy a little music and get ready for the start of the third period here. It's, uh, Alex, what's uh, what do you think is going to be the key here? I think we're just going to do the same thing that we've done the first and second period, keep it simple and put pucks on that, give this goalie a little bit of a challenge. Looks like he needs it. Yeah, I would agree. So let's see what happens here and then... Uh, Maybe you'd like to uh, get a chance to say hi to the folks back home or something? Oh, would love to say hi to my parents and uh, all my family back in Florida. I do miss the Cuban sandwiches. Yeah, they, they're delicious. Absolutely. All right, false start on the draw here. <laughs> Well, we're happy to have you join us in the booth tonight. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes, sir. All right, we'll drop the puck again here. And River Kings control that. Yakus has got two goals tonight. He'll get that back to Jordan Steer. Along the far boards to Nathan Bottles. Good physical battle over there now as everybody's reaching for the puck. And Bottles prevails. Hargy now has a chance here. He's in all alone. Let's see if he can do something with it. Shoot. Oh, good job by Castelletti to cover that up there. Just couldn't find the five hole. Yeah, Castelletti was patient there, waiting for uh, Harkey to pull a move and read it really easily there. Yeah, had everything covered up down low. And I don't think uh, Harkey had a chance to get uh, get much control over it to try and get it up. Yeah, no, definitely when there's a defender coming right behind you, it's hard to pull anything special. But if he had a little more time and space, I'm sure he would have put it right past him. Well, Harkey in there battling now. River Kings prevail. Bottles has it. Spins around there. Tries to feed that out front. Gets it to Krieger. Off his stick, though. Minnesota can't clear the zone, though, as Yakus will get that at the near half boards. Far half boards. Still held up in the zone. Now brought out by Minnesota. They've got three men on the attack, but they're covered up well by the River Kings here. Are not number 26 for Minnesota in there to try and forecheck and unsuccessful here. Cole Krieger's got it now. It's got Harkey helping him out here, looking to make a move here. Krieger across. Oh, just couldn't seal the deal there. Yeah, that was beautiful. I'll give it to him. Yeah, Castelletti's um, coming out strong this period. So, Yeah, it seems like the last two games that he played on us, he knew exactly what he was doing and mobile to get there. Yeah, he, well, he's a big guy. He covers a lot of net. Yeah, he is. So when I, in between periods, I had a chance to go downstairs for a minute and walk by him, and uh, he's a big kid. Yeah, it's six-foot frame, 185 pounds, really gets, gets across the net real easily. Out to neutralize now. Kenny brings that by. Stop there. Knocked down by Skaggs. Willard trying to control that puck but can't. Mistepney now battling behind the River Kings net. Puck comes out front. Minnesota Blue Ox able to control that. Kenny backhands that across the crease. Nobody there to help him out though. 
Out to the far point now. Got some broken hockey equipment down on the ice here. Somebody's without a stick. River Kings successful in clearing the puck now. Here comes Willard. He's at the blue line. Looking for some help here. She's being covered up well by the defense. Up off the glass now. Number 19, Hopa. Shoots that off of there. River Kings send it back in now. Minnesota does pick it back up. Get it back out to Nutrioyce. Number 18, Glazer tries to get that towards the front of the net, but he's unsuccessful there as he falls down. Hobbs tries to shoot it in. Shot, big save there. Rebound, save there by Allen. And he'll lay on top of that puck to cover that up. We'll get ready for a face-off here, so. Yeah, he was able to sprawl to the other side of the net, make sure they didn't have a chance to put it back in. Yeah, he's, uh, he's done a good job tonight. He's really been in control. Yeah, he's definitely come up in some clutch moments. You know, the, the game could have gone any, any other way if uh, he didn't come standing strong. Yeah, you start out down a goal, you know, that could be a little disheartening, but, you know, the entire team hung in there really well, and they uh, they battled it and uh, now have a, a nice three-goal lead with 17-30 remaining in the third period, so... Yeah, there seems to be a little bit of a net trouble down there. Yeah. Oh, um, on other news, um, shout out to Rule One Sports uh, for all your hockey agency needs. Uh, big help to this organization and the guys getting them to the next level. River Kings have had quite a few guys move up too, so. Yeah, definitely there for the college commitments and trying to help them further their hockey career. Okay. Shot wide of the net now. Minnesota seems to be doing a little bit better job trying to control some of that offensive zone, but River Kings are tough defensively. Yeah, they're they're definitely a force of team. They don't like uh, you coming into their zone, and they'll do anything they can to get you out. Radke there, unable to knock that down. Krieger with the check. Puck comes back into Minnesota's end here. 16-40 remaining in the third period. 36 shots on goal for the River Kings. Here's McDonald now. He's had a good night, solid. Gets it across to Radke. Shot wide of the net. That'll come out around the boards. And the Stepney's in pursuit now. Is Clough for Minnesota is into four check. Puck will come back around the boards. No icing on this one, though. Castelletti will have to set that up. And reconsiders that now as the newcomers back there to hassle him. Good job there, holding that puck in the zone. That all started with the work of newcomer now as the River Kings are putting on some pressure. Holding that along the boards. The Stepney beating on the defensive play there, though. McAlpine brings that down to River Kings' end. Shot, saved by Riley up into the netting. Yeah, he was able to read that puck and make sure it goes up into the netting for a forceful play. Well, and you saw, too, the defender did a good job. But, you know, when the, when the offensive player picked that up, he started skating that down through the faceoff circle trying to get to the net, and he forced him back to the outside. So Yeah, that was all due to communication there, talking on the ice, making sure everyone's on the same page. Rydell in there. In hot pursuit after that. Back behind the net still. Rydell still working. Puck comes out to the blue line just in front of the Minnesota Blue Ox bench. Smith will dump that back into the zone. Back behind the net now. Castelletti watching that. Nobody at the far point to hold that in, so the River Kings lose possession there. As Minnesota starts to skate that out. They're trying to get it towards the net now. And good job by Smith to backhand that into the boards and prevent any further offensive pressure. Max Moore off the glass, out the center ice now. River Kings just couldn't control that. Skipped over Red L's stick. Skaggs had that man lined up and mercifully didn't run him into the boards near as much as what I thought he could have. So. Yeah, he was trying to be nice, you know, with the 5 2 lead. Doesn't want to hurt anyone out there. Sure. Good break there as that puck bounces off of Harkey, heads back down towards Minnesota's end, but picked up by the Blue Ox and they'll send it into the River Kings zone. River Kings on the move now here. Harkey's got to hold up just a bit as Cole Krieger's headed in. Shot high and wide of the net to the left, of, to the right of Castelletti. River, River Kings back defensively now. 
Racky feeds that up to Krieger. Krieger turns back around, sends that in. Nathan Bottles will pick that up. He'll collect that. Bad turnover there. Some River Kings can't connect on the pass. And Minnesota brings that up. Shot well wide of the net. No pressure there for Riley Allen on that. As Krieger will start to try and head back down in. And can't get away from the defender there to get to the puck. So Hartke's looking to help him out a little bit. He'll circle back behind the net. To the near point now. Radke shot. Wide of the net looking to get the rebound here. Willard has it. Sends a pass across. Comes outside the zone. Hartke will just send that in. River Kings will start to make a partial change, it looks like. 13.45 remaining in the period. 5-2 River Kings. And now you see that starting to shift back a little bit, right? So the River Kings are now controlling more play in the offensive zone. Yeah, like they, like I said earlier, they're going to come in through the third period and guns blazing. They're not going to let up and put on the brakes. Right. But, and the icing here would definitely help. Yeah, when, whenever we have control in their offensive zone, it, it's always helpful for us, and it's difficult on them. I'm sure the mental pressure is getting to them a little. Well, Redman out to take the draw now. He's got Jordan Steer back at the point. Boyle working with him. Steer holds that in. Nice job to step up and control that puck now. He's looking to get some help. Defenders really all over him. Tries to feed that through, and he does, but it's picked up by Minnesota in the slot. They'll try to backhand that out and move it out of the zone, and they do. Picked up here by Yakus. Shot there. Riley Allen, good job controlling that. Deflects that back down into the corner. Out in front again. Great save by Allen there to control that. So that was very similar to how they scored their first goal tonight. Yeah, Allen knew what to do there. He saw that happen once, and he wasn't going to let it happen again. And it's a good thing, you know, the defense was there to help him behind the net, too, get sticks out in front. Yeah, good job by the young man stepping up and, and taking control of that situation. So, 13:03 remaining in the third. You don't want to let, uh, you don't want to, you know, you've got them down. Let's keep them down. Don't, don't get off on their necks. Let's, uh, let's do what we can to win this thing. False start there. I'm not sure uh, what happened to number 64, Andrew Kramer there. He seemed to fall down and Skaggs was kind of trying to avoid him. Yeah, Skaggs wanted no part in that, but apparently 64 wanted it all. <laughs> River Kings control that puck just inside their blue line now. Max Moore will deflect that into the Minnesota zone. Right now in there putting pressure on, as is Moore. Back behind the net. Another icing. As you can see, the River Kings are coming in and being ultra aggressive, which is causing them to have so many icings in this period and eventually just having more scoring opportunities for us. Well, you start getting tired and you start getting desperate, you know, and the only thing you can really do then is just dump it out. Yeah, that's all you can do in those situations. The heart wants to keep going, but the legs are giving up. Yeah, yeah that's what we're seeing here tonight. Jordan Steer holds that in. Nathan Bottles now, along the far boards, looking to get some help. Shot towards the net, big rebound there, but nobody there to pick that up. River Kings kind of standing to the outside right now, weren't crashing the net, so they'll do a good job here. Riley Allen challenged a little bit on that one as that defenseman uh, misplayed the puck just a little bit, but he was there for that. Here comes Bottles now. Like to see him get a nice shot here away here. Shot just wide of the net now, held in by the far point by the River Kings. Back behind the net, Castelletti covers that up with 12 minutes remaining on the clock. So, 37 shots on goal for the River Kings, 19 for Minnesota. Yeah, they're getting heavy on the net. They know they just get shots and the opportunities will prevent, uh, present to themselves. It's interesting to me the number of shots in, this, uh, in these games. You know, a lot of NHL games, you know, 20 shots on goal is, is pretty good. Yeah, but when you're ultra physical and uh, ultra aggressive, those shot numbers uh, tend to add up. So, uh, seem to have a little trouble with the, the glass over there. Uh, One of the doors came doors open. Doors popped open, yeah. 
They are a hard-hitting team. So, so hey, speaking of the NHL, who's your uh, who's your favorite goalie? Uh, besides myself. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'd have to say Tim Thomas. I, I would vote for you, though. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Tim Thomas fan. Yep, we're the one and only. All right. Oh, fans on the shot there. Gets another shot away. Chipped out of the, out of the crease, though. It looked like Riley was trying to cover that up, and somebody knocked it away from him. Yeah, maybe a little mishandle on the, the save there, but nothing our defense can't handle. Along the far half boards now, right in front of the fans, in front of the Redmond fan club. <laughs> oh, you love to see them there. Oh, yeah. Good battling along the half boards now. Puck back up to the point. Starkey tries to control that. Gets it back behind the River Kings net. Riley Allen closely watching that. River Kings can't clear the zone now. Newcomer can't get it past the big defenseman. Now pitch worked up over the man at the point and back out to neutral ice. River Kings will come on the offense here. Can't get through the defenseman though. Skaggs was tied up there. Minnesota looks to move that up the ice here. Turned over to Radke. Radke dumps that cross ice into the far corner to the right of Castelletti. Right L in there to play the puck. Good job there. He picks that up. A little bit of collision here. Yakus just outside the blue line now. We'll dump that back in. Minnesota on the change here. Keese out for them now as well as Kinney. Puck bounced up just in front of the scorer's table. Smith, he had a goal earlier tonight, looking to pick up another one. Yeah, he's definitely gunning for uh, two more, just like Zane Rydell had last night. And there's Rydell now. Ooh, big open big ice collision. check there. Wow, yeah, Moore was uh, involved with that. Just under 10 minutes to go in the game. And, you know, to some point, you may think some of that physical play is going to start to pick up. You know, Minnesota may start thinking, well, chances of us picking up four goals tonight and winning this thing are pretty slim, so maybe we start sending a message for tomorrow night. Yeah, I think that's what's going to be their plan. If they can't produce any more, they're going to have to try to establish something early. Assist by the official there as that puck deflects off of him, and Riley Allen has to make a big save there, so... No harm, no foul. River Kings will skate it out of their zone here. Nathan Bottles in front of the near boards looking to get a shot. Blocked off by the defenseman here. He takes it into the corner, back behind the net. Looking to feed it out, looking to get Krieger. Can't get it to him. Sends the shot wide around the net. Here's Nathan Bottles. Back behind the net now. Krieger in to check. Nice job there taking his man off the puck with nine minutes remaining in the period. River Kings still hold a 5-2 lead. Minnesota picks that up, scoops that way up out of the zone here. More just to get a line change than anything, I think. Minnesota's starting to get tired, I think. Yeah, they're definitely tired out there. You know, having the River Kings come at them with so much force in this whole entire hockey game, it's, it's definitely going to be hard on them. Yeah, they spend a lot of time in their own defensive zone, and that's much tougher than being on offense. Going to be honest, I think he's going to be feeling that tomorrow. <laughs> Newcomer tries to move that up and out. Here comes Racky to help out his teammate. Newcomer will almost come away with it, but it gets over his stick, and Minnesota's able to hold it out that time. And now it's out of the zone. Back to neutral ice. Skating across the logo here. Nestepney. He'll hold off while Racky moves it up to him. Here's Willard right in front of his own bench. <laughs> Chance here for the, for Minnesota. Can't make anything happen. Good job by the River Kings, forcing to the outside. Not letting anybody stay in front of the net. Keep the, uh, keeping the pressure on here. Minnesota's doing a good job. River Kings are gonna get called for a penalty here. Looks like a roughing call. Bit of a soft call, I thought, but. Yeah, you know, when uh, play starts getting physical and you see one side of the team, you know, having the loose end of it, refs tend to make those calls. Yeah, I got to try and keep it under control. So it's going to be important to River Kings, you know, try to stay out of the box as much as possible the rest of the, rest of the game. 
Yeah, as we saw in the one. second period, they uh, they capitalized on their power play last time. Hopefully, they won't have a chance to do that this period. Minnesota's a good team. I think they're eight and two in their last ten games. So. Minnesota power play. Rackies in the box for two minutes. River Kings will dump that down the end of the ice. Castelletti will have to come out and control that now. He'll drop that off for his defenseman. Coach yelling at him to get going. So, and now he does. That's uh, number 27, Gainer. Back to number 23 for Minnesota, over to number 64. Back behind the net. River King starting to collapse back down a little bit now. Shot in there, saved by Riley. Kick saving a beauty there. Yeah, that's definitely going to help us on the PK when goalies are making those kind of saves. But what was nice about it was he watched that. After he made the save, he followed it out. Yeah, he's tracking it and making sure that if there's a loose rebound or a chance, an opportunity out there, he's ready to go. Yeah, it didn't hit him by fluke. No, not a chance. Uh, great job by that young man. Okay, Cole Krieger, puck taken away from him. River Kings, good job in the slot, keeping things tied up, not letting anybody have any room. McAlpine seemed a little frustrated by that, but. Yeah, I would be too if uh, the other team was dominating them so badly on the PK. Crossover blue line there, and that was well offside. Yeah, sometimes when your offense gets a little bit hasty and uh, tries to get in there early, it tends to be offsides. Well, at this point, the, the clock is really, you're, you're playing two teams now, the River Kings and the clock. Yeah, that's what we've been seeing in this game. So time is definitely running out here, and Skaggs is on the move. Look at that speed. Puck went up in the netting, it looks like. We're going to get a uh, get a call to the, or face off to the left of Castelletti in the Minnesota zone with 18 seconds remaining in the penalty. Smith in there to take the draw. He's been pretty good in the face off circle tonight. Yeah, his dependability on the face-off circle is really beneficial for us River Kings. Shot dumped down the length of the ice there. Picked up here by Minnesota. Looking to move that up through the neutral zone now across the River Kings blue line. Great job by the River Kings there. They've killed the penalty. They're back to full strength now. The frustrations continue for Minnesota now, and Cole Krieger doing everything he can to add to that as he sends that in on net, kicked up high, rebound comes out, nobody can get a handle on that one. Pressure st remains on though as we crash the net here. Good job by Harky trying to squeeze that in. Minnesota just desperately trying to dump that out and get some help. Unable to really do much there as Yaku's good with the stick there and stop that offensive pressure. Yeah, they're trying to head on a high note, but uh, it's hard you know, this late into the game to try to push back. Yeah, it's different if you're down one or even two. Yeah, let alone three. So, Peter River Kings now, you just stay out of the penalty box, make smart decisions, and if you happen to pick up an extra goal from here to the end, then that's great, but don't do anything to lose it. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Marty on the bench is saying that right now, trying to give the, uh, the guys the right speech to keep forward in this game. Oh, shot deflected there by Willard. What a beautiful goal that was. Yeah, that was definitely drawn up before the play. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you, that's what going to the net does for you, though. Yeah, yeah especially with a big body like Willard right in front of Castelletti and putting his stick right there, it's, it's tough to see. Yeah, Newcomer made a, a nice shot in, and then uh, Willard just knocked that down over the shoulder of the goaltender. And, and that will probably do it for the night, I would, if I had to guess. Yeah, I sure hope so. All right, Smith in to take the draw. Has that. Willard with the goal. 
Newcomer with the assist. River Kings keeping that pressure on though. Swing and a miss there, unable to connect on that. Puck will be shot down towards Riley Allen, who's got to be breathing a sigh of relief now that that uh, fourth goal padding kind of can put you at ease. Max Moore taken out there. Nice check by the defenseman. Yeah, that was a nice move by Max. Hey, I'll be heading back for icing. So, Alex, what's your uh, what's your best memory of the uh, what's your best memory so far from being a River King? I think oh. it hasn't been long, but gosh, do I have so many memories already? <laughs> um, probably uh, the game against Chicago Cougars, going in oh, and yeah. uh, getting first start of the game, uh, first start uh, at home ice. It was yeah. a it was a blessing. You being played able a great to... game. Yeah, thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to call. Chicago's a tough squad, so. Yeah, they have a, one of the leading point scorers on their team. Definitely helps them become a, a threat on the ice. Not that night. We nope. had one better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, hey, speaking of threat on the ice, River Kings with 40 shots so far. So, kids, if you ever wanted to smell like rubber, play against the River Kings. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what we're saying over here. Here's a chance here now. Bottles trying to get away at the blue line. Gets it just inside the Minnesota Blue Ox blue line. And River Kings now control that back behind the net. Harkey, nice feed out front. Couldn't get, couldn't get a clear shot away. Now they do, and puck goes up into the netting with 2:44 remaining. Yeah, that was a, that game was a lot of fun to call. Chicago's a tough team, and you really uh, you stood on your head that night. So. Yeah, thank you. Yes, sir. Tried my best, and uh, luckily it worked out in the end. Yeah, there's been some very uh, there's been some very entertaining games here at the Southwood County Recreation Center. If you folks get a chance, we'll be dropping the puck here again tomorrow night at seven o'clock, and uh, that will be it for the for the calendar year here, right? Uh, I think the next thing you guys do is a showcase down in Chicago. Yeah, we got four games in Chicago. Uh, I believe one of the games against Metro Jets, the other game against Toledo Cherokee, Wooster Oilers, and uh, Long uh, Bighorn uh, out in Lake Erie. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna be some tough games, but uh, hopefully uh, we can come out in the, the three days of four games. Look forward to seeing that on Hockey TV. So, the uh, like I said, we'll be back in, in action again tomorrow night at 7 o'clock against these same Minnesota Blue Ox. So, it's been a very entertaining game. So, I'd, I'd encourage you, if you get the chance to come out and check the River Kings out. It's a, uh, it's a great family night out. And, and we have an amazing uh, souvenir stand, too. So, i got to get down there and pick myself up my own, my own Christmas gift. Yeah, I don't know why you already have it. Um, the wife found out I want to do that. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. So. But hey, she's not listening tonight. So. Cross center ice here. Here come the Minnesota Blue Ox. Trying to put a chance here. Shot kicked out by Riley. Nice job by that goaltender tonight. He's uh, He's been sharp when he's had to be. Yeah, that's one of the benefits of having Allen in that no matter what time or what's the score, he's going to come on and uh, try to stop any pucks that come by. Okay, he, he battles hard in there. Yeah, we love to see it. Shot up into the bench. 126 remaining. Brad Key on the ice for the River Kings, along with Newcomer, Reese McDonald's out there. Shot wide in the net, picked up by Radke. He'll start to move that up and out of the zone. Gets it off the boards, that may be icing. Linesman's got his hand in the air, it will be with 114 remaining. Pace seems to be slowing down just a bit here. Yeah, when uh, you know the game's already sideways and might not get the end of the end of the road, you're definitely going to slow down and conserve energy for the game tomorrow. Well, at the end of this, we'll be announcing the three stars. So, uh, 
Alex, hopefully you'll stick around to help us out with that. Oh, I definitely will. Be great. One minute remaining in the period. Minnesota brings that in along the far boards. Redmond in there, takes his man out. Good check there. Puck land near the faceoff circle now. Nobody able to control it. Now Minnesota does. Shot well wide. Good job by Riley following that. Mucking it up in the corner here. Newcomer circles back. He's got two blue ox on him. Boyle in there. Working with Newcomer. 15 seconds remaining. Puck comes out of the out of the River King zone. Shot back in by Minnesota. Under 10 seconds now. And that's going to do it, folks. The Wisconsin Rapid River Kings beat the Minnesota Blue Ox 6-2 in the first of a back-to-back -back game. We'll be finding out who the three stars are here in just a minute. So great contest tonight. Alex, what'd you think? I thought we did exactly what we were supposed to do. Fast, hard, and physical, and uh, tested the goalie, uh, Haglin. Uh, both goalies. Yeah, both goalies, definitely. Um, had him out early and uh, ultra aggressive. Didn't give him too many sharp opportunities, but um, when they did, Allen came up and sealed the deal. Yeah, I think that start to that second period when they came out and scored, uh, what was it, two goals in, in under four minutes, I think that really, that kind of set the tone for the evening. Yeah, that's uh, definitely hard to come back from, especially mentally and physically when a team comes up and uh, crushes them like they did. Great sign of sportsmanship here out of the two squads, though. Out shaking hands with the officials, the coaching staff, each other. You like to see that. Yeah, especially with uh, some of the teams you play. You know, you don't get that often, but when you do, you definitely appreciate it. So River Kings to center ice, along with winning goalie Riley Allen, to uh, thank their fans for coming out and joining us. Stick taps for everybody. So and, and uh, stick taps for you down here. Your first try at color commentary. So oh, thank you so much. Well done. Yeah, happy to have you. So off to the corner now. Good. Thank our Chuck a Puck fans. Yeah, they're big support over there. Yeah, I think the team's really fortunate. They have uh, quite a bit of support in the community here. So, and a lot of that's got to do with the fact that you guys are so active in the community. You know, you shoveling for folks who are not able to get out and shovel on their own and helping out the Convention and Visitors Bureau. And just, uh, you guys are just uh, uh, definitely an asset to the community. And Yeah, we try to give back as much as possible. Um, that's all thanks to Marty uh, helping us, giving us the opportunity to do that because of the fortunate uh, experience we have with uh, playing here. All right, so it looks like the, the three stars have got their cowboy hats on. Sanders Willard will be the third star of the game. Well deserved, you know, one of the hardest working guys on the team, I think. Yeah, another Jim Partner of mine. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you announce this one. Yeah, right now we got Riley Allen. Uh, definitely came up in clutch and uh, definitely a hard focus goalie. A uh, little goalie to goalie love there. And then not to be outdone here, Jacob Yakuz, two goals tonight. He's been having a great season. So Yeah, he ever since has. he came here, he's uh, stepped it up and thankful for him being here. Absolutely. So well, we hope that you folks have enjoyed the, uh, enjoyed the game and the broadcast. We'll be back again tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. For everybody here on the broadcast crew, Jeff Conklin on the on the radio on the camera, Matt Fillmore on the technical director, Art Nagepsik running the cameras and the producer, and again, Alex Smedley helping out with color commentary. We hope that you appreciated the broadcast. We'll see you tomorrow night for Wisconsin Rapids Community Media and Hockey TV. I'm Paul Kennedy. Thank you for joining us and have a great night.